TII Technical Education Systems, Teaching Technology for Tomorrow. In this video, what I'd like to show you is how to create a latching circuit in the Siemens S7-1200 using the TII Technical Education Systems, TII PLC, and HMI Trainer. Now, if you've had a motor control class, you're familiar with some terms like start-stop station, latching circuit, memory circuit. They all kind of have similar names depending on who's teaching it to you. And so what we want to do is we want to create that circuit in the Siemens PLC. So what we're going to do is we are going to select a normally open contact. And we're going to tag this to the left green push button on the TII trainer. All right. Now, I have previous videos that I've created to show you how to create these tags. So if you need to, you can go back and watch those. So then we want to grab a generic output. And we're going to turn on the left red light on the TI trainer. So the input's tied to the start button, what we'll refer to this as um, the terminal zero on the inputs, and on the outputs, our red light is wired to the um, terminal zero. So now what we want to do is we basically want to set up an OR circuit, okay, OR logic. So what we want to do is come in and select open branch and then grab an input. Drag that up and make this branch so you have two inputs in parallel. All right? And what we want this light to come on is, is when this green push button is activated, or when memory from this output, okay, memory that this output has been activated. So to do that, what we do is we just give this the same address, the same tag name as this output. So when you activate this, this will go true. In turn, this input will go true. And it will stay true until power is shut off to it. So it's a normally open contact off of a control relay, all right, in this digital world. So now what we need is a stop button. We have to have a stop button in here to turn it off, or we won't have any way to turn it off. So all the stop buttons should be wired normally closed. So in that case, what we want to use is we still want to use a normally open contact because a normally open contact in this digital world will only allow logical continuity when it's activated, okay, or when the contacts in the physical world are being made. So that's what's happening here on a stop button since it's normally closed it's always logical true unless it's activated. So we've already created that tag, so this is going to be the left red push button, which is normally closed, which we can refer to as our stop button. All right? And this program is now ready to be downloaded to the PLC. So now that it's downloaded, we want to go ahead and turn the monitor function on. And I want to notice some things before we go over to the TII trainer. Notice that this is already green here, these contacts here. What that means is that is closed. These right here are blue. That means they're still open. So when I come over and activate the green push button, the light turns on and it stays on even though my hands are free. I'm no longer activating it. So what happens is this light is on, memory has been latched in, and this will stay on as long as it has logical continuity through this path. Now, when I'm ready to turn it off, I come over and I hit the stop button, the lights turn off. Activate the green button, turns back on. Activate the stop button here, turns it off. And this is how you, this is one of the ways you create internal memory to latch an output on. And this is a very useful method for doing that. Okay? So now, the next way that I want to show you is I want to show you how you can use your internal memory. This is a... I talk about internal memory in a previous video, and you can go back and look at that if you need to, but I'll kind of explain it as we go through here, too. So what I want to do now is I want to delete these contacts here. And I want to use internal memory to create uh, the latching circuit. 
So what I want to do here is I'm just going to put internal bit is what I'm going to name this. All right, and this was going to act like an output that physically doesn't turn something on. So I want to tag it. I want to right click and select define tag. And the address is m0.0, .0 which is an internal memory location. And I'm going to name this memory the same thing, internal bit. Hit enter. And there we go. Now we have a latching start-stop station that doesn't physically turn anything on. So what I can do is I can go down to my network 2, insert an input and an output, and I can copy this name here, internal bit, hit enter. Now all three of these are linked, so when this goes true, this will be true, and this will be true. And then we'll tie it to our left yellow light. Right. Again, creating inputs and outputs, I, uh, I show you the steps uh, for that in a previous video. So now, this is ready to download. So I come over. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come over, we're going to hit the left green light, and it acts just as the previous um, circuit did, except it has a two-rung system with the internal bit latching this on. A lot of people like the internal bit because it can reduce confusion when we have to turn an output on multiple different ways. As you've seen in the previous, in the manual, the advantage of that where you can create large logic circuits and break them down step by step in rungs using the internal bit. So you activate the green push button, activates the yellow light, hit the stop button, shuts it down. And you can pull off normally open or normally contacts from the internal bit as well. All right, this is the end of unit uh, 14. And uh, if you're comfortable with this, you can take it offline and go on to the next unit. Thanks.